population of a country is very very important. Therefore, we need to study about different aspects of population. How many people live in a country and what kind of people live in a country and what is the life expectancy, what is the birth rate, what is the death rate, how many are literates. These are all the things which are essential for us to know or judge a country. In fact, all this information is provided to us by the census which takes place after every 10 years. When we talk about population, there are three major factors that one must know about the population. The first is size of the population that is how many people are there in a country. Second is the growth rate that is at what pace is the population growing? Is it right or is there something wrong about that growth? And third of course is the characteristics of the population that is how many of them fall under the productive and the unproductive population. All this is very essential for us to know in order to decide the productivity and the development of the country. Talking more about it, first of all when I talk about the population size and distribution of population in India, you must remember that India is a vast country, it has different climate, culture, religion, languages and so on. Similarly, the distribution of population in India is also very uneven. If I say that UP in fact has 16% of the total population of the country and Sikkim a hilly region has just 0.5% and then we have Lakshadweep which has only 60,000 people living. All this means that the number of people living in various states of India is very very different. So, it could be due to the potential of that area, it could be due to the fertility of the soil, it could be due to the occupational resources which can be found for the country and its countrymen. Those are the factors which make the population uneven in a country. Uttar Pradesh, West Bengal, Andhra Pradesh, Maharashtra and Rajasthan. These are the five states wherein half of the population of India stays. So, when we talk of the population size and distribution, remember that it is very unevenly distributed and when I talk of the size of the Indian population, you know that India is the second most populated country in the world after China. Then I talk about population density that is the number of persons living per unit area. If the people are more then we call it a densely populated area. If the people living there are few less then it is a sparsely populated area. Well in India the northern plains and Kerala have high density because the soil is fertile, the climate is favorable and there are lots of opportunities of employment which make the northern plains and Kerala as the high density area. Population growth. The growth in population of a country keeps on changing and there are two major factors by which we try to find out about the growth of the population that is the number of people who are born and the percentage per year 
that is the way of finding out the population growth of a country. We have seen an upward trend in the growth of population till 1980. That is the population was growing and growing in India. But after 1981, we have seen a decline in the population growth, which means it is a positive step. We also fear by 2045, India would be the most populated country in the world, even leaving China behind. 